Hello and welcome to the Conelanders League. You got to be kidding me. Welcome to the Conelanders League. Uh, we're in uh, the fourth week in February. Uh, technically, it's going to be uh, March because today is the last day of February. You know, because uh, leap year is complicated and uh, Conelander kind of needs to look at a calendar. <laughs> now, seriously, though, we, we started late and... We are, uh, to get the four weeks in, we're, we're kind of behind, but, uh, here we are anyway. We'll get it all straightened back out eventually. Uh, <laughs> you see, we're in Finland this week and still running around in these kit cars, which <clears throat> they don't quite agree with me. Uh. I'm also having recording problems. I got uh, one of my recording programs crashed on me as soon as I hit uh, record. So I'm running on one just hoping it actually works right. Uh, let it continue. Uh, vehicle setup. And we go uh, Finland setup, which I. Uh, Got the gears pretty short, and I softened the suspension, and uh, up the dampening on the on the rebound, hoping that'll help some, but uh, probably not. Uh, start the stage. Whew. Yeah, I'm gonna screw this up. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Okay. Now, if you can tell, I have duct tape Leroy's mouth shut because it. He ain't much of a co-driver. Uh, no matter how I set up the settings, he is talking about curves that I am nowhere near. Which is normally not a big deal, but on this one, there's a lot of places where I need to be uh, getting ready for a hard left or a hard right turn at the top of a top of a hill, and he's telling me to get in the center or stay middle, and uh, I've actually landed on a building because I listened to what he said. He was talking about a curve that was. Uh, Long ways away. One of the big problems with this uh, race in this country here is there's not there's not really a lot of landmarks. You're in the woods the whole time, so it's not really a place you can or that I can easily memorize the course and know what's coming up. I'm having to guess based on what I see in the distance. You know, sometimes it works okay, and sometimes just looking at the trees lies to you. There's a curve, and I think it's in the uh, night stage. It's, oh. Well, at least that didn't, well, I don't know if it busted a tire. I got my co-driver mouth duct taped. He ain't gonna tell me if I busted a tire. Uh, Now, it's the night stage at the end of this is one of the curves 
the trees, just looking at them, looks like you should turn right. And of course, my co-driver is screaming, uh, right turn ahead, and of course, you go over the top of a hill and it's a left turn. And I went out through the trees a bunch of times before I got fed up with that. <coughs> Take it easy. Center. I have actually landed right here, hitting that one hard, twice now that I've, I've done it, and the tire blew completely off the rim. You know, I understand the tires on this, this game are pretty easy to bust, but to bust one just hopping a hill right there? Definitely, if it was doing it every time, that'd get real old. <laughs> of course, then I could at least expect it if it was doing it every time. Just randomly, that was a uh, sigh. Ain't much care for it. Ooh. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Current best is 46 seconds ahead of me. Let's see. I've got uh, 3.58 is what I've done. And my best time I've ever done on that track was... 3.54 and the phone's ringing for some stupid reason. Let's see. See if I can shut it off. Uh, okay. In thirteenth place, uh, Powers told me last week that he had a long way to, uh, a lot to do to catch up with me. Uh, this week, I don't think he's having that problem because uh, actually, last week I done pretty good. It's the uh, first week in uh, four weeks now that I actually made a point. Mind you, I said a point. I'm not in the points because that would involve more than one. And I was in 50th place, which means one. <laughs> I don't know where that puts me uh, points-wise overall, but it's pretty far down. <coughs> but I think we're, we're over 110 people, so you know, I think um, points-wise somewhere around... Uh, 60, 65, something like that. Yeah, let's see, I get to uh, fix my car. Yay! Start the stage. Here we go. You notice the... Go. Uh, you notice the people on the side of the road wearing the green jackets. Same color as my car. You know, that's people rooting for me. It has nothing to do with the fact that they're, you know, work here. <laughs> the Miracle of France green is a very rare color, so the odds that they were just randomly wearing the same color as me, you know, or as my car is, you know, it's just not going to happen. This turn right here is one of them that he was real bad about talking about, you know, a mile ahead of time. And since it was at the beginning, it wasn't that big of a deal. It just slowed me down. But it, it gets worse. Over this hill, easy. Stay off these rocks. See, the tree is turning up there, so we got to take it easy.
And I had a hard time with that right-hander whenever I was paying attention to him because I wasn't paying enough attention to the road. slalom thing here about making you sick. And right here you got people hiding behind them trees right there you end up hitting if you take it too wide. Here we go. Kind of get used to looking on the left there, looking to see what color that bar is to know how I'm doing, and it doesn't work on this race. You know, it's, it's, it would be nice if I, well, I, <coughs> I guess it would be compared to the fastest time, and I'd always be behind them because I'm not catching up with those guys. Not anytime soon, anyway. Got to be kidding me. Here we go. Kind of funny because, you know, I've, I've practiced this, a, you know, a pretty good bit. Uh, and I have destroyed a lot of tires on this, uh, this track, but a DNF I have not done until I sit down to record this. I don't know if I want to edit that into it and everything that went on there or not, but uh, if I don't, I'd point out that I've turned my co-driver off. Uh, he's too far ahead and confusing me, telling me to turn opposite direction of which way I need over the top of certain hills. Because he's talking about two, two or three hills over in the next couple of turns and I am trying to listen to him and turn in the wrong way, and uh, it hadn't worked out for me real well. there but didn't hit anything too hard oh tr yeah that that hurt I'm assuming I got a flat out of that if I didn't I'll be shocked but that was just a screw up that was running way too hard into that corner I knew better bridge to worry about here.
straight back up. It really sounds in the headphones like I got a flat tire, but it's not driving like it. It may be in the rear, if anything, but it's not. It's not like trying to kick around on me or anything. I'm flying through the air, I can't tell. Uh, 50 seconds behind. Uh, that's a 401. Uh, best I've ever done is 354. And I don't remember what I'd have done the first run through here, but I think it was a little bit better than uh, what I'd done just now. Uh, of course, I didn't, you know, destroy my car on a on a rock last time. Uh, let's see. Where did that put me? 13th. Uh, I think that was about where I was at. So, I don't know. Uh, continue on. See how far I mangled my car. Oh, I gotta wait on the loading. I have no idea how you pronounce any of these uh, these road names or area names or whatever they are. Uh, of course, that's I'm kind of getting used to that. I actually watched some uh, got on YouTube and watched some uh, rally racing and. Uh, yeah, that's not something we see any of in the U.S. At least I'm assuming. If, I assume if you got like cable TV, you'll you can run into it. But uh, most people in the U.S., the only uh, rally racing they have ever seen is watching Herbie movies from the like the '60s and '70s. Which is, you know, my opinion. Three, two, one, go. A little bit late. Uh, my opinion, they should, uh, they should have put the VW Bug in this this thing, cause you know that's that's most people in the U.S. is uh, first thought whenever they think of rally racing is the VW Bug. Uh, it's used real heavily on uh, Baja racing in. Uh, Southern California and uh, running around on the dunes, but most of these other cars is not anything anybody really in the U.S. pays much attention to. And actually, after watching uh, watching the rally racing for real, uh, you know, as much as I like this game. It's kind of disappointing compared to what's really out there, cause I've seen oh, all kinds of different kinds of uh, tracks. Oh, oh, I made that. Woo. Uh, there's a whole lot more tracks than what we've got running around here, and a huge amount of cars. I mean. I would love to see as many cars in this game as I saw in, you know, 20 minutes of watching YouTube videos of rally racing. I don't know what they're, if they're just trying to pay attention to the real high-end race cars and have a couple of low-end, you know, street cars, but... I'd really rather see all all these uh, cars that people are running around that's you know just factory or a little better than factory cars. I'm trying to remember where I'm at. 
There's the Kurt's Magic uh, Power Pole. This is the people that watch his, uh, his videos, which I'm sure most of the people on the, the Conelander's Rally do, considering this is supposed to be having to do with uh, his fans. I'm sure they they get that reference as they watch the was the last I think it was the last race before the Cone Lantern thing started, if I remember right. Well, how about uh cut that too, sir? Oh, that was an interesting spot to put a jump. Settle down. On the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. Oh! Woo! And there's the end. Oh, that felt good. 59 48 seconds behind the leader and uh, 10 seconds behind the best I've ever done on that track so I'm not gonna complain about that uh, 13th place let's see Fires is still ahead of me. I think pretty well everybody's going to be ahead of me. I don't really expect to do real good on this. Uh, need a little bit more uh, sensitive input for these dirt tracks with this front wheel drive than uh, at least more sensitive than I can put into this with a Xbox controller. Although, I've got something in the mail, another little toy to play around with, and I, I don't know if it'll help or not on this game, but uh, hopefully next week I'll have it to try out and see if it does. Uh, what do we do? Uh, okay, I get one more repair, so I, I think I fixed everything anyway, but here we go. Two, one, go! I think I got that launch okay that time. Which way are we going? Some of them bushes hurt. Oh, don't hit the guys. I may have murdered them once or twice in practice. Get back out of the ditch. Right back into another ditch. That don't work. This thing I gotta watch out for, because if they hit that one real hard, I'd end up flying over the trees before I landed. I think I 
I made it through that okay. Just a little time lost. As far as I can tell. Dang it, Leroy. I know your mouth duct taped shut, but you could at least tell me if I got a flat tire or not. I don't know how you do it, but dang it, do it. <laughs> I never did make that turn right there to the right whenever he was making the calls. I don't know why. And as soon as I turned it off, I've made it every time. Brakes, 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 whoo! Man, that was, uh, that was close. Get the bounce in there. One of the things I did with the suspension was raise it as high as it'll go. Which is kind of one of those things that it, it helps in one way and it bites you in the butt in the other. It is, you know, if you hit a bump, you can absorb a whole lot more bump and but if uh like somewhere where it's flat like right here and you'll jump a lot farther because the suspension never you know it never does any compression so when you hit the top of the hill and your suspension is already at the top your tires come off the ground right off the bat A little too heavy on the right hand or yeah right hand turn there. I think I handled that one pretty good though. That one. And just make sure I don't overcook this one, which uh, I've done right here at the end. So make it to the end. Whew. I may have scratched the car up a little bit. And so did the guy driving after me. <laughs> uh, 434. I've done a 425 is the best I've ever done. So, uh... You know, that's what, nine seconds? You know, I'm not going to complain about that one either. That's that's pretty good. Where are we at? Uh, we're uh, 11th place, uh, right behind Powers, two people behind us. And... Continue. Yeah, I think <coughs> the night stage is next, which is uh, walking the woods at night. It's kind of dangerous on this. I don't know what it is about this, uh, putting the headlights, all the headlights on the very front of the car. Is that like a European thing? In the U.S., and anything that's, uh, you know, Baja racing or off-road or whatever you mount headlights at the bottom of the windshield if you've got room so they're up they're away from the front of the car and you mount headlights on above the windshield on the roof so you've got a higher angle and uh frankly it'd make a lot of sense on here look uh wait a minute wait wait wait, wait. uh that's not exactly good. Where, let's see. I'm not worried about the gearbox. But I want my lights and stuff fixed. So we'll do that. Uh, 
back up. And here we go. This is where I really screw up. Not that I hadn't already. Because, you know, I did. Two, one, go. See, this is real interesting because now I don't have the co-driver. Not that he was helping me any, but at least he was telling me what was coming up. And I also don't have the treetops to look at either. Off in the distance, you know, that's what I've been looking at to tell me what's coming up and how strong the turns are. And now I don't see them. Or it could be worse. I could be without headlights, and I might liable to be without headlights here in a minute. Give me time. Save the headlight. <laughs> You're gonna crash hit somewhere other than the front of the car. <laughs> nope, stuck in a ditch. Another ditch. Another ditch. Not in the other ditch. That's the first time I've noticed that fence to the left. You wonder how uh, not being able to see you don't notice a lot of stuff. signs and tape and stuff. No people. I think that guy was wearing green. Don't want to hit him. He's one of my fans. Take it easy. There we go. Looks like we're making right hand turns here. Survived it anyway. Left hand. Yeah, there we go. that he was talking about staying center and I really need to be ready to make a right hand turn and there's a uh, right hand or left hand where he was telling me to turn right at the top of that's where I was oh, oh that was a screw up hang rock at the end of the ditch I'm still alive though still got headlights and we're at the end I think Cross the bridge, stay straight, hang on to it. Whew, I'm alive. <laughs> uh, 419, let's see. 411 is the best I've ever done on that stage, so that's uh, eight seconds slower. I'm not going to complain about that either. That's, that is rather good. And now where does that put me overall? Uh, 
Let's see, twelfth uh, out of thirteen. So I'm not last, but I'm dang close. <laughs> Which isn't a surprise for me on this this stage. I wasn't expecting to do all that good on it, but I had fun doing it anyway. And uh, you know, it's a whole charity thing. And uh, since I had to restart. For the second time this month, that means uh, twice as much money going to charity. So uh, I guess I gotta get that figured out and get that done now. So uh, y'all have a good one and we'll uh, see you at next month's event.